Hey guys, it's Anna from Tales of a Feral Housewife. Back with a new update. We got two more hens and we got a new chicken coop. So we went to Absolutely Amish in Fredericksburg, Virginia. And um, we actually went to two different Amish places, got quotes. They all look like easy chicken coop these all these Amish coops I think because they're all built by the Amish they're all generally look the same they have I mean the easy coops look exactly like these except for with the easy coop you have to build it's like a kit so you build it yourself um, but yeah so I got two new hens as well uh, Miss Rita the uh, or my one of my original chickens, the other one, Anita's, uh, got eaten by a fox. Um, she's being kind of a bitch to them. <laughs> so, I mean, it. at first I was like, oh, these chickens are a lot bigger. These new hens are a lot bigger than her. You know, hopefully they don't bully her. Well, no, she's bullying them. So, um, but I'll show you the coop and I'll show you... So I guess I hear that when you introduce your hens or your chickens to a new coop, you should keep them in there for at least three days a week. Some people do two weeks so that they know that this is home. I don't know if they're going to survive. Like, like, I might just do three days. I have two new chickens also, but they're smaller. They're like two months old. So I might clean out the, um, the current coop that we have and just keep them move the coop a little bit closer and keep them, you know, in eyesight, but introduce the two new chickens at a later point when they're a little bit bigger. Um, but yeah, so let's go see them. Cause I also have, I have a different pan of food because Miss Rita is not letting them eat in the other pan. So I'll, I'll, let's, let's go take a look. So this is like the flattest part of our property. I think in the future, I want to maybe level a certain area over there and then do a little bit more permanent fencing for them. Just that costs money and we are just going to do this. I actually might get the Premier Pro poultry and then have them have this area because they like to go under the deck but it's making the deck kind of poopy. So. Let me get some food. Oh wait, that's the water. Duh. So, this is the chicken coop. That's like the main access door for people that I've already hit my head on. That's the nesting box. That's the windows. And uh, it looks pretty good. It comes with a door for them to go out. And my husband is going to connect the run so that and we're gonna tarp it so when they're not free ranging, like if it's like a bad weather day or, you know, we just wanna keep them locked in, he's gonna do, this This is like, I don't know, poultry netting. It's not gonna keep the fox out. Um, so he's gonna hardware cloth the bottom so that the fox can't dig under and up the sides. Um, but yeah, so it got a little damaged on transit. Um, here's the back, has a little vent, and yeah, and there we go. So I don't think that they know this is food, so I'm just going to take another scoop out and um, another access to some food. So Miss Rita can either boss them over here or boss them over there. But I think it's a good, decent coop. I don't know what to name these girls. I usually name something nerdy, but I don't know. One has, they look so similar. Yeah, you see Miss Rita being, being a mean girl. I think she just wants to let them know that she is the queen, the queen bee. You can let them eat. 
Yeah. Now you have to stay in here for a bit and let them eat some food. So yeah, that's a quick update on the chickens. I forgot to shoot an outro while I was outside, but we're getting two olive eggers. Um, I am talking to a lady. She has salmon favrolis. I'm not sure how that's how you pronounce it. I really want that breed. And then I'm talking to a lady about true whiting greens, but I don't really want them because I don't know. I'll, I'll make a decision on them. And then um, what was the other... There was one more. Oh, and I'm still kind of looking for a black copper morans. The lady that has the salmon for Rollies, she actually has black copper morans as well. Uh, but I don't know. Hopefully with the dynamic, I think if I just get like four new hens and uh, let them integrate, I kind of want to get like an odd number just so Miss Rita doesn't feel like, I don't know, she needs a new friend. <laughs> Anyways, guys, like and subscribe. Join for future videos. Talk to you guys later. Bye.